Hey, what's going on guys? It's Adamus Prime back here finally after almost two and a half years, a little over two and a half years again. Uh, for those of you that have been around for a little bit, I do extremely apologize. But for those of you that are new to the channel and looking straight for how to get five star on Isla Muerta, uh, the first island that really poses a little bit of a challenge due to the storm that you're seeing happening right now. Uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Here we go. So, uh, as you can see, as soon as you start out, the alarm is activated, storm is raging on, things are broken. It, it, it looks like this island's going to be one heck of a mess. But, you know, this is only a precursor to how bad storms really get. Thankfully, and you'll see later on throughout this playthrough, that this these storms are kind of just fake. <laughs> uh, they do discomfort your animals and mess with a few things, but they don't come in as bad as they can on Isla Sorna or any other islands that have wicked storms like that. So, let's jump into the basics of this Isla Muerta. Here we go. If you come in, first thing you're going to have to do is go straight to your ranger team. You can't add tasks because it's out of power right now. You have to go straight into driving it. <laughs> Which is actually one of the coolest parts here. You hit that handbrake, start whipping around corners. <laughs> Alright, so I'll, I'll try to, usually I like to have a lot of fun in this, hit all sorts of handbrakes, doing all sorts of drifts around, and, but, you know, I'll try to keep it a little bit straight to the point here for you guys. <laughs> but, you, first you're going to have to go, you have a power, you have the incubation, or the, oh, Hammond's Creation Lab, sorry, but uh, I got my tongue there, I kind of got my tongue. And uh, then you're going to have to hit that substation, then you have two fences over here along these uh, enclosures or exhibits, whichever one you prefer to call them. So, but once that's done, you're, you're already over with it. And as you can see, uh, just in the time it took for me to talk those few things and do that task, we're already ready to open up the emergency shelters and get back into making money in this park. So now what you want to do is you want to close the shelters, and now we're right back into it, like it's any other normal park. Now, the great thing that's about this island is that it already has... Two exhibits or enclosures built for you just automatically and you have two million dollars plus I'm losing money as I continue to talk but you start with over two million dollars you have a ranger station they already give you a power station storm defense and two Hammond creation labs as well as two enclosures now something I like to do you guys don't really have to do it but I'm going to is that I like to get rid of these fences dividing I don't see the point in having two fences there Kind of dividing it up so then what i'll do is i'll head into fences and just turn it into one i usually like to go with one of the stronger fences that you have so for here i'm going to go with my heavy steel fence so that way you can break into it and just have a nice even divide cut line or something whatever you want to say now also with that since you do have a have to worry about a little bit of the storms here you're going to go into oh i've lost where it is it should be right there, storm defense station. Now I like to just angle it out, put one pow straight in the center, so you don't have to worry about anything else. I put it off a little bit to the side because now we have to worry about restrooms as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop one of those in here while we're thinking of it before we forget. Path that up. Just give everything a little bit more space. Now with these, uh, just in the way that I like to create dinosaurs is I like to go ahead and upgrade the Hammond Creation Lab a little bit so that way we can have a little bit better of success rate. If you only have one, two, or three, just put on the best one that you can. I usually like to go with two threes. And then a very nice, simple dinosaur to start out with is going to be your Carithosaurus. It's got a decent rating. It, it, as you can see, my viability goes to 60%. It's going to be no big deal. And you check the social... Oops, sorry. <laughs> Complete operator error there. You go to the social, you only need two of them. So it only sets you back 700,000. And you can incubate them without much needed upgrades in order to continue with it. So while I've got those cooking out there, I've got a million dollars left. I'm going to make sure that the guests are going to still be happy as well as the dinosaurs. So what I'm going to go ahead and roll in with is I'm going to go ahead and put in a uh, ground herbivore feeder. So that way they can... Go ahead and uh, be happy and healthy when they come out. One will do those two dinosaurs just fine for now. And then also, personally, I don't... 
I don't like the ranger station being so curved and off center here. So I like to spend a little bit of the time. It, it helps out later on. And it, we're losing money at the forefront, but it helps out later on to kind of square this off and make it a little bit easier to access. So let's go ahead and, because you have all this open space back here that it can easily get put into. So I kind of position it out a little bit further into the back. I know it's not ideal, but it, it'll make sense later on, I promise. Or at least for me it will. So just bear with me while I connect all these into the pylons, into the power lines. So now we've got power. Let's go ahead and add some pathing back there. Ooh, that's kind of an ugly path, but you know what? Hey, it only serves to get back here to the ranger station. It doesn't need to be pretty, right? All right, so I said that we're going to have to start worrying about making money somehow. we got the dinosaurs going. Now we need to start working on getting the guests happy. Now, you guys know how that works. I have a how to better understand your uh, better understand your park and the management views video. You guys can check that out if you want. But you want to make sure that you're evenly balancing everything. Fun, shopping. We already put down the restroom, food and drink, and... And then we should be just fine. I like to go ahead and throw in a gift shop. And this is why I move that further to the back. Because now you can kind of have just a strip of shopping. That will kind of connect half your, or most of your park together. So that takes care of shopping. Let's go ahead and do fun and drink with the arcade. And then we can go with a restaurant. As soon as I find it. Pop out a restaurant as well. And also something I like to do at the beginning is I just make sure to upgrade all the staff. Yeah, it does take a little bit more money, but at the same time, so we don't have to worry about remembering it later on. Alright, so it looks like our dinosaurs are ready. I'll go ahead and give you guys some time to watch the Corythosaurus come out real quick. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful dinosaur, absolutely beautiful skin. Let's get that second one released, and it says we're still lacking power over here. It probably means we need to add some, yep, we're just not producing enough power. So what I like to do is I like to go ahead and go in here, best improved output you can do, but don't forget to negate your risk, that's 20% there. So we're gonna add our improved output, and then our outage protection, we can go with the 60 grand, or number two, because that does the 20%. And now we're back up to power need that we that we have. Now uh, at the end of these, or maybe a, once I finish off getting five stars in the park for this series, I will actually be going into all of the missions that you'll unlock for this island. These three here: science, entertainment, and security. Uh, but that'll be once I finish out five stars, and then we can get going on those. And see, just like that, we're already profiting fifty-two thousand dollars a minute. Uh, as you all know, <laughs> this does take a little bit of time, so you usually have to just go ahead and sit back, relax a little bit, let your money come in. Uh, so like I said, I like to go ahead and just upgrade these all the way, so that way I go ahead and don't forget them later on. It'll help out with uh, your guest experience and satisfaction later on as well. So I just go up to the most expensive thing, sell it for an absurd amount, you know, because that's how every... <laughs> Every park or zoo, anything like that is going to be, if you've been to one in real life. Snackosaurus. Oh, a Jurassic Nom actually sounds pretty <laughs> pretty good. Well, I said we're going to go with the Giganto Steak. Sell a steak for $40? Yeah, sure, why not? Everyone will love it, right? <laughs> And seeing just like that, we've already increased our income to over 2500 just from those facilities alone. Alright, so now we're starting to rack in a little bit more money. Let's go ahead and get another dinosaur going. See if we can afford another Caritasaurus. 
of course, nice. Now the other dinosaur that we're going to be including in here with them is going to be the Edmontosaurus. As you can see, their population is still super high. They're herbivores. They're going to be friendly with the Corythosaurus. And the social need is only for one. So let's go ahead and get bumping with that uh, variety mix. And we'll start pushing that guy out. Now, unfortunately, we are a little bit at a standstill here just due to, like I said, waiting for your money. But that's going to be just fine. Everyone who plays this game understands it takes a little bit. Well, while we're doing that, let's go ahead and make sure we're at 100%. See, we're, we could do better on forest and grassland, but it's not entirely too bad. Both of them are completely fine with each other. But something I did notice is that there's this cool new scenery tool. It may not be new to you all, but I've come back after two years, two and a half years, and it's absolutely wonderful. So I do like to mess around with this a little bit. Kind of put some rocks halfway in the water, halfway on the land, and they do have the random rotation snap, which I think is a very unique tool, and I like it. I also like some of the... I know these trees don't necessarily fit in, per se, but I do like kind of placing these just along the... Uh, <laughs> uh, feel free... I should go ahead and say this. Feel free to skip ahead a little bit if you want, because I'm just going to be using this to kill some time. While the dinosaur gets ready to come out, we build up a little bit of money. Uh, I know these, these don't necessarily fit, these palm trees here in the middle of this jungle, but I do like placing them right there along the... Uh, the water line and I just think it has a nice a nice feel to it all right so there we go we're getting ready to boost our variety and our dinosaur count here. like I said on the last one I'll give you guys a few seconds to watch this guy come in this is my all-time favorite skin for this one it just gives it a nice purple face it's it's wonderful skin for this dinosaur There we go. Off to our first three dinosaurs already. Now let's go ahead and check in on that real quick. Oh, just a little thirsty, a little bit of food, fine. But as you can see, social, population, health, comfort, completely fine. These guys are going to be perfect. And just alone, you know, just to start out for just this enclosure here. Uh, let's go ahead and take a check to our island rating, see what all we're going to need. As you can see, we've got poor variety <laughs> we're working on that but once you start seeing the okay capacity that's when you know you're gonna have to start adding in your uh, hotels unfortunately we still can't afford the hotels so uh, I think let's see we're already about 13 minutes into the start it's not too bad I think I'm gonna go ahead and give you this brief overview so you can kinda see and make sure that we've done a decent start here Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wait until I build up a little bit of money, so that way episode two will be a whole lot easier for you guys to watch. Hey, make sure to stay tuned for that. I'm uh, not going to ghost you guys around on this time, but there goes the end of uh, episode one, and this is a great way to start off on earning your money. We're earning almost $100,000 within 13 minutes of starting this island. All right. Hey, you know... I'm really glad to be back, and if you've made it this far into the video, do me a favor and just comment down below, I don't know, some, some weird, random, <laughs> weird random word that comes to your mind, and just leave that as a comment, just to see who makes it to the end for me. Alright, thanks guys for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, I'll see you at the next one.